I lost my mother in that tragedy. She couldn't walk properly. Um, and actually, the very night that uh, she was caught in the fire, she was awakened by a neighbor. And she, the last thing that she did, she pointed to her knee saying, I cannot come down. Telling him, I, I cannot come down. So, um, that is saying that, you know, if she was not disabled, or if she was on a lower floor, she would have lived. And uh, in this long, agonizing four years, we have gone through hell, uh, listening to the evidence. Um, one of the things that uh, have uh, interested me from the very beginning has been the uh, issue of uh, protection uh, for uh, disabled people in high-rise buildings. Uh, now these disabled individuals should have uh, proper protection wherever they're living. But on high-rise building, they require extra layer of protection. Um, so what was proposed, uh, which they kind of gave the name PEEP to, uh, was you know personal evacuation plan. Um, these these recommendations, the implementation of it means that people, um, you know, would know what to do in, in case of fire, and fire department knows where they are and what to do, and who they are. And I truly believe if um, these recommendations were in place on 14th of June 2017 the outcome of that fire would have been very much different. They would be alive today. On the 8th of June, the government came up with the result of the second consultation on uh, this recommendation. And I'm glad to say that they are proposing to introduce a new PEEP requirement for uh, residents and disabled residents in high tower blocks. The result is encouraging, but in no way certain yet because we would like to have this in law rather than be opened up for interpretation by uh, local authorities. Uh, and we, we cannot uh, trust the uh, local authorities to do the right thing. We've seen that time after time, these legislations have kind of failed to kind of become law or be implemented because of vested interests who have uh, politicians and, and, and local authority um, in their back pocket and this is not a game um, people's lives depend upon it and especially disabled people uh, people should feel safe in their homes it's their human rights it's not a privilege you know for somebody to feel safe in their home i think it's, it should be there it is their right and it should be protected by law